Hey guys, so the buyouts did not stop. They continued and they continue. They all share one common trait. They all, all these cards are on the reserve list. So I don't think we're going to see buyouts on any modern cards because it just doesn't make any sense when you have cards on the reserve list. So Tolarian Academy started the week at, you know, around $21, $22. It ended the week at $50. Which is a very large uh, sum. It's an increase of 150%. And it didn't get any better. Eldric Moon didn't. It wasn't like Eldric Moon came out with a combo piece. And then now people want to play more. It's always been this good. Yaga Mayor's Hollow. Definitely a card I looked at uh, very closely. It produces a colorless mana. One green you regenerate target creature. That's amazing ability. I mean, essentially, it's like give all your creatures regeneration, the possibility to regenerate. And it has no downside. It does not come into play untapped. Uh, so definitely also a card that uh, a lot of people bought out. Um, a card that speculators wanted to buy, and they kept buying, and they kept buying, and eventually it did go up in price. Started the week off, or uh, started... The month off at under $10, and now it's over $22. $22.66, definitely a card that has gone up. And lastly, let me talk about this card because it's gone up the most. So from the last week, it was around $380, and let's say $80, and now it's at $675. The older the card, the more likely it will go up, and the, the higher it goes up. Right, because six hundred seventy-five dollars is a lot of money. If you don't take it as a percentage, the percentage is always around the same, and you assume it's you know three hundred and eighty dollars goes to six hundred seven. I'll just say it doubled. Uh, it didn't quite double, but because it doubled and your you had that initial investment, you actually do make quite a bit of money from it. Because when you go out buy list it out, it's closer to the price than the price. It's closer to the market price. Than the price you purchased it at um, so no one's going to offer you 50 percent. they're going to offer you 75 80 percent on a card of this value as opposed to uh, any card in standard which you know at best they could give you 50 percent off the buy list or any card in modern which again is 50 percent off the buy list at best unless it's like a tamagoyf so definitely interesting speculation i don't know that these decks are seeing more play than they did before they went up in price but, I mean, it is MTG Finance. It's the nature of the beast. Uh, it is sad, but, I mean, it's the reserve list. What else can you expect?